Chris Oakley, Missouri track fanatic and running junkie with Courtney Ferricks, the uh, graduate student of the uh, graduate of Nixa High School and UMKC and grad just uh, finished her fifth year eligibility at New Mexico. And uh, obviously you set yourself up for the NCAA meet and the Olympic trials. I think great with your limited racing schedule this spring. Um, you know, Olympic trials two weeks away. What to me it seems like good odds making the team. What you know, you've obviously got Emma Coburn, the record holder, and Leo O'Connor's run nine eighteen this year. Uh, there are others. Uh, Colleen Quigley obviously is coming off an injury and may not be in the mix. But how do you see how do you see uh, things going in a couple weeks? Um, I think my chances are good. I think I've. Um I think I've done what I need to to give myself confidence that I have the ability to make the team. But um, I'm just excited to see what can happen at the same time. Regardless, I have so much that I can be excited about from this year. So I'm not feeling like all this pressure, like this is the one thing that I have has to go right for this year to have been successful. It's just so many other things to like be happy about and everything. And I'm just, I think there's so much I can learn from this experience, whether I make the team, whether I don't. But... I think um, I've gotten myself in the best fitness I could be in for this point. I think we've scheduled everything right. I'm at a point that I'm feeling good and ready to go. I'm not kind of just trying to ride the peak still. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to see what can happen. Um, and, you know, I think, yeah, like I said, it, there's so much I can take away from from this year regardless. And to you better prepare me for the next one, too. Right. Well, in 2012, you represented Team USA at the World Junior Championships. Tell me what it would be like to uh, be top three at the trials and, and be an Olympian. Oh, it would, just, it would be an absolute dream come true. I mean, that was such a surreal moment for me, getting to put on a Team USA uniform. Because, you know, I've, I've wanted to be an Olympian since I was a child. Um, you know, having grown up as yeah, a gymnast and stuff, that's always your dream. So to be able to have it be a possibility is just an absolute dream come true. And um, when I when I got that opportunity four years ago to to represent the United States at an international competition, it just it it just lit the fire inside of me, and it kind of kept me going. Like I want another opportunity to do this again. So that was so much fun. Yeah. And, I, I, you know, that's been the goal since then is just to try and make more teams because it's such a fun experience. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know how the gymnastics falls, but if you make the team, maybe you'll be able to go and uh, and do a little workout with the uh, with the gymnastics squad, U.S. gymnastics squad <laughs> before the oh, that people. would be fun. Yeah, I'd love if you know if I if I made it, I would definitely want to try and um, get to one of their competitions because I still kind of keep up with what's going on and stuff and. Um, I, I just, you know, you never lose passion for for a sport that was once your life, and so I, I enjoy watching it still and keeping up with it. There, I feel like a little bit luckier that the selection process for the U- U.S. track team is a lot more um, clear. Right, like, there's a selection, and so was, like now that I'm older and like you know, know a lot more about, you know, actually making an Olympic team and stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of glad I know exactly what I need to do. And there's this one competition I have to show up and, you know, I'm, I'm definitely glad that it's that way. Right. You won't have to come here to St. Louis and uh, compete at nationals and then go to training camp down in Texas and then have the coaches decide. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah. you get to have it in your control. Yeah, definitely. Well, a lot less stressful. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've signed with Kimby Athletics as your your management group. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that process and what they can help you do. Yeah, it was it was a very um, it was a good thing, like process and everything. It was a lot less stressful than I thought it would be. I kind of started looking at things. Oh gosh, in like December, so I decided to kind of jump on things early and use the the the, uh, the time I had during the indoor season to start exploring options and talking with lots of different people and um, I just really liked Tom Ratcliffe a lot. I felt like 
he knows distance. He really he just works with distance runners, and I think that that's just an awesome thing. So he knows the area that I'm obviously hope you know wanting to be in really well, and I could just tell that he. He cared about people as people, and that was really important to me, that he was going to look out for my best interest um, when it came to decisions and stuff. So I'm really excited to be working with him. And then Alistair Craig is also working with him as well, and he has helped me a lot during this whole process, kind of looking at the professional side of the sport and stuff. So um, yeah. we're currently waiting on, like, um contract stuff to figure out where I'll be training next. So Yeah, I know it looks like you'll be the Hopefully. second. Hmm? Yeah, it looks like you're the second Missouri athlete. Obviously Matt Teen Camp was represented by them and uh, so you don't you don't want to break any news today? No no decision on a professional training group yet or a uh, sponsorship contract? Uh, there, there, there hasn't been a decision, so I'm I'm still waiting for um, offers and stuff, so um, we're hopefully there'll be a decision soon, um, but nothing has yeah officially been decided. I'm I'm ready to to get you know going and kind of have the the last piece of the puzzle um, figured out before the child. But I trust I you know I fully trust that Tom is um, doing everything he can to help me out right now. So right. right. And that's got to be a fun process. To, it's almost like uh, getting recruited for college. Hopefully these uh, shoe companies yeah, will be it was, will coming after you it with was. some good I took, deals. I took a lot of visits and stuff during that indoor season with different groups. And it was really fun to get to meet like all the pro runners and all the coaches. And, you know, they really just they want to help you any way they can to find where you feel like you belong, which was, like, nice to nice to see and just, you know, make more connections within the sport. Right, right. Uh, well, obviously, you have with boyfriend and now fiancé, Griffin Humphreys, who ran at Rockbridge and UMKC, I, um, being a runner um, and having him know what you go through on a daily basis and the work and commitment you have to put in, I suspect that, that has he has to be a great support to you, I assume. Oh, he is. He's wonderful. He's, um, without a doubt, been one of the major reasons I've been able to get where I am now. He's pushed me all along, and he, yeah, he's understanding. He knows everything it takes because he was out there doing it too, you know. And um, so it was neat. He was able. My whole family, and then him and his family were able to be out there in Eugene, and I was glad I was able to have that moment with all of them. And I'm glad I'm going to have him by my side through all of this. So. Um, He's excited to, for me to figure out where I'm going to because obviously he wants to start looking for jobs. Sure. But, um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to have him uh, along with me, and he helped a lot with the decision for, you know, deciding management companies and stuff, too. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just, <laughs> I couldn't do it without him, that's for sure. Yeah. Tell me what... Uh uh, what's more nerve-wracking, uh, getting preparing for the uh, NCAA's or Olympic trials or planning a wedding? Um, oh, gosh. You know, I honestly think I was most nervous for NCAA's because the expectation was just so much higher. I, you know, I, I think kind of getting that done has been really exciting and exactly what I want to do this year and I don't feel quite as I'm not quite as nervous for the trials just because I think I feel like I'm in a good place and I've, I've shown myself that I'm in a good place and um, the wedding hasn't been too bad to plan because my mom is really good at planning so <laughs> she's been doing a lot of it she'll call me like um, you know with questions or be like okay I was looking at this like what are your thoughts but she's really been awesome and, and Griffin's mom as well they've been doing most of the work so I, I'm lucky that my, that they're so on top of it and willing to help us out consider you know it's difficult being um, so far away from home sure, sure. <laughs> well congrats on a phenomenal career seven time All-American and uh, and uh, maybe an Olympian here in a few weeks and uh, 
uh, congrats on on the amazing college career and hopefully a long professional career to uh, begin uh, soon. So thanks, well, Courtney, thank for the time, and uh, congratulations. Thanks. Thanks.